little project for today is still raining outside, so we crack on and do things inside. Now, Ted made this wonderful table. Talk of the devil, he may appear. Oi. Thanks <laughs> for that, thank you. Now, we had a large party. Last year, we had a lot of la um, large parties booked in, and um, one of them was for 12 people. Now, we've got two, two six seated, uh, we've got two six seater tables, however, I really wanted them all to be on one table. And um, Ted knocked this up for me. So you made a, is it called a base? Yeah, I just made some legs, uh, nothing special, just some straight legs that was that had the ability so people could sit five either side, two at the end. It's three metres long, about 800 wide. And normally we cover this in a tablecloth. But I really love the table. I love the rusticness of the wood. <laughs> what? <laughs> I made that. <laughs> Mr. Rustic, they call me. Uh, Agricultural but... furniture, my, father, my brother calls it. Agricultural <laughs> carpentry. But you knocked this up in a day, ready for the party yeah, the next day, well, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, it was literally, I went to buy the wood on the Friday. On the Saturday, I made the table. And Sunday the party they had. Yeah. So um, and it's a, it's a brilliant table, and we are going to keep this in the tea room. As you know, through the winter we've shut down the restaurant, and this is now a salon and usable for our guests that are staying. And we will be serving plat du jour or plat de soir at this table. And I think it's really nice that everybody gets to sit at one table. It means that they interact more, talk together, and um, yeah, I just whether think they it's... like it or not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm joining you whether you like it or not. <laughs> so um yeah, today So what we, are you gonna do with it? Well I thought How are you gonna ruin it? I'm not gonna ruin it. I <laughs> I would just I'd like to keep it wood so I don't have to put a tablecloth on it anymore. It saves me washing tablecloths as well. Yeah, yeah. But I just thought if I use your I've got your wire wall here with vinegar. The vinegar stain, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I thought if I wire wool it all uh, stain it all um naturally and it will go very dark. And then, I'll see what it looks like then, but I might do a bit, because I thought about making a runner for the middle of the table, but then mm. I thought, why don't I just stencil a runner on the table? I'll tell you what you could do, and, and I think this would probably give it more protection, our, our wange stain that we use everywhere, which you know I'm a big fan of, um, once you do that, it won't give it any protection whatsoever. All it will do is cover the wood. Yeah. But the wenge is pretty good at not necessarily protecting against heat and all that because you need special stuff for that. But it will protect against um, splashes and all that sort of thing uh, because it's not a wax because you can wax it and it look spectacular. But it won't protect it really unless it's you know years and years and years. So yeah, maybe the wenge um, yeah. would be a good idea. And my, th I don't know, because I like the idea of your stenciling, but I think what you could do is cut your stencils out. And if you made them with something that, we, you know, we've got plenty of double-sided. Yeah. So you could stick them on and then do your wench over the top. So you just have the, the stencil would be... The wench. The, the colour. Yeah, the oh, colour. I see, yeah. yeah so you so don't you... actually add colour to it. You just add sort of... So shape you'll just and... be, yeah. So it'll just yeah. be... It'll be sort of lighter and darker and all that. The only issue with that as well is that would it... And you might want to try it on something else, as is a good idea, is that maybe when you took the stencil off... Would it bleed? It might bleed and it also might take the other finish yeah, off with it. Yeah. Which is again there'll be a pain in the yeah. back. So have a go with that, see what you think. Be very careful with that, because that as it as will will stain absolutely everything. And you know, your chairs, you'll never get it out. So be careful. I will. It will stain you as well. So it makes a good. Um, uh, uh, it makes a good spray tan. I was just going to say maybe I should put yeah. some gloves on, but yeah. um, <laughs> the only thing is, is this this pot that I've had for ages is not uh, any. It's not sort of waterproof. Right. It's pretty. It's pretty scary. Use that brush, but use it sparingly. So do you want to just um, explain while I get some gloves what this is? So this stuff we've used. Um, many, many times. 
Um, and it is just, I had balls of wire wool, like, um, you know, the old Brillo pads without the soap. So I chucked a load of those in and I had them in there for ages. And this is just white vinegar. You can use malt vinegar. It doesn't matter about the vinegar. You can use anything. If you use malt vinegar, it tends to really kick up smell wise. This isn't so happy anyway, but, but the white vinegar, it's really cheap. The wire wool is really cheap. So for a, a stain, if you want stuff to go, and, and when Lisa does it, you'll see what it does to the wood, especially this, which is Douglas fir. It has a pretty dramatic effect and very quickly on this. I'm putting my gloves on because I've got an important meeting this afternoon. Are you ready, Bess? Are you ready for a project? Are you ready for a project? Yeah. Are we going to paint? Are we going to paint? Bess is thinking, <laughs> I can smell, I can smell something that may, maybe, maybe, maybe might be food. food. Um, if I drip it, will it, yes. um, it will make a stain? Yeah. So I, so if I start at one end. So bearing in mind that because the timber I get is all green, it shrinks and shrinks quite dramatically as you see the the great um, holes in here. So don't, yeah, just go ahead and paint it on. <laughs> but yeah, you can use it, use it fairly sparingly because it will be, uh, it does go a long way. So I don't need to soak it, really. No, you don't need to soak it. You need to work it into the grain. And like, exactly like you're doing, which is the best way. Because if you soak it, it does take a long time to dry. I had to use, I used some recently and I had to use a hot air gun to dry it because it was taking forever. So if you just see, it, it is so quick really if you see the way that that wood is darkening down it is not just the fact that it's getting wet it will get darker than that as well and what i like as well is that the the different areas of grain the heartwood and the sapwood and all that sort of thing they go different colors Okay, so here's just a quick reminder. If you want to see the complete renovation of Chateau de Montmagny, go back to the very beginning three years ago when we pulled through the gates. Currently, we are working on the renovation of the piggeries and stables area. If you want to see the full renovation vlogs, join us every Thursday and their project hour is every Monday. Don't forget, press the subscribe button. Okay, so I've almost finished the table. I've got this tiny bit of the end here left. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to time lapse it. I'm just going to put the camera over the top of this bit I've got left. So you can see how quickly it gradually changes and gets darker and darker and darker. Until the point where the softwood just looks like a chunk of oak. Beautiful old oak. And it brings that grain now. I just, I love it. I love it to bits. In 20 minutes, I have a new table. I absolutely love it. I think I love the dark wood, and I know a lot of people don't, but with this period property, everything is dark wood. And I think this just goes so much better in this room. And I do love the dark wood. I just think it looks rich and gorgeous. So yeah, I'm really pleased that I'm gonna live with it like this for now. Once I've got my tables and chairs on it, my um, little decorations, my little vases of flowers, I'm going to live with it, see what I think about it, and then I might come back and try the stenciling idea. I would really love to try that. I just don't want to ruin this table. 
So I'm going to live with it for now and uh, see what I think. I hope you enjoyed that project. It's a 20 minute project, something so quick and easy. And uh, yeah, it's just something we can do while the rain's coming down. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. The quick tip of today, wire wool and vinegar. Join us next time on the next project. See you soon. Bye. If you would like to hitch a ride with us on this adventure, then please check out our Patreon page. For just five euros a month, you can help support our project. Receive behind the scenes footage, uncut videos, and have Zoom chats with me and Ted. Be part of the Monmania family on our patron only Facebook page, or make a one-off donation via our PayPal page. All of the links are in the description. You will then know that your contribution helps to preserve a piece of world history. Oh